In this presentation, we will understand how to access tuple items. So, without any further delay, let's get started. The first topic of this presentation is accessing tuple items through positive indexing. The second topic is accessing tuple items through negative indexing. And the third topic is accessing tuple items through slicing. Let's get started with the first topic that is accessing tuple items through positive indexing. Each item of a tuple can be accessed through its index. Just like a list, we can access an item of a tuple through its index. The syntax is as follows. We first need to specify the name of the tuple, then within square brackets the index of the item which we want to access. Now, in order to see this in action, let's open our command prompt and let's activate the Python interactive shell. Now, let's type this command cars equal to Audi, Mercedes, BMW. So, there are a total of three items in this tuple. Let's say that we are interested in accessing this item, Mercedes. This item has an index 1. Because we know that index always starts from 0, therefore this item will receive index 0, this item will receive index 1, and this item will receive index 2. So, if we want to access this item, we must specify 1 within square brackets. So, now let's do this together. Let's hit enter and type cars 1. With this, we would be able to access this item. Now let's hit enter. We are getting Mercedes as the result. Now there are some more important points I would like to mention. The first point is trying to access item out of the index range will result an index error. If we try to access an item which does not exist, which is out of the index range, then we will get an index error from Python. Also, Providing float or any other data type as index will result in type error. We will receive type error in such cases when we try to provide any other data type apart from integer within square brackets. This means that if we try to provide a floating point value or any other data type as index, then we will get type error from Python. We must avoid these two errors at all costs. In order to see this in action, let's open our command prompt once again and let's consider the same example cars. Now, let's type cars 3. This means that we are trying to access the fourth item of this tuple, which does not exist. There are a total of three items in this tuple. There is no fourth item. Therefore, if we hit enter, we will get index error, tuple index out of range error from Python. This clearly indicates that we are not allowed to access item out of the index range. Now, let's type this command cars 1.0. We are not allowed to do this as well because this value is a floating point value. If we hit enter, we will get type error from Python. And this message, tuple indices must be integers or slices, not float. We are allowed to provide integers or slices. We know the concept of slicing. It helps us in accessing a range of items. We can do this, but we cannot provide a floating point value. This clearly shows that we cannot use a floating point value or any other data type as index. So, with this, I hope it is clear how to access tuple items through positive indexing. Now, let's move on to the next topic that is accessing tuple items through negative indexing. Just like list, we can access tuple items through negative indexing. Index minus 1 refers to the last item, minus 2 refers to the second last item, and so on. We already know from lists that minus 1 refers to the last item, minus 2 refers to the second last item, minus 3 refers to the third last item, and so on. Now, let's consider one simple example. 
Let's open our command prompt and let's consider the same cars tuple. This time, let's say we are interested in accessing this item BMW. In order to access this item, we can either use a positive index or a negative index. If we provide negative index, then we must provide minus one because minus one refers to the last item of the tuple. This is the last item of this tuple. Therefore, minus one is the index we need to provide. So let's together type cars minus one. Let's hit enter. We are getting BMW as the result. So we are done with this topic. Also, let's move on to the next topic, that is accessing tuple items through slicing. We already know the concept of slicing. Range of items can be accessed using slicing. If we want to access a range of items, we can do that using the concept called slicing. The syntax is as follows. We first need to specify the name of the tuple. Then within square brackets, we can specify index one colon index two. Let's consider the same cars example, and let's type cars one colon three. Here three is not inclusive. Recall that one is inclusive, but three is not inclusive. We will get the range of items from index number one up to index number two, not three. That is why I said three is not inclusive. So we will get this item and this item because index of this item is one and index of this item is two. So now if we hit enter. We will get this tuple with two items, Mercedes and BMW. There is one more way in which we can access these two items. We can type cars one colon. We can eliminate index two here because we want to access these two items. So we must start from index one. We must go up to the end. This is what this shows. One colon means. Start from index number one, access that item, and go up to the last item. So now, if we hit enter, we will get Mercedes and BMW. Now let's say that we want to access this entire tuple. For this, we can type cars and within square brackets colon. This indicates that we want to access all items of this tuple. Now let's hit enter. We will get this tuple with three items: Audi, Mercedes, and BMW. So we are done with this topic. Also, that is how to access tuple items through slicing. This means that we are done with all the topics of this presentation. Okay, friends, this is it for now. Thank you for watching this presentation. I will see you in the next one.